Hi there, this is Nick James from the Internet Marketing Training Club and I'm recording this quick video for David who asked a question in the forum about Amazon S3 and how to give the buyers of his products an Amazon S3 download link. Okay, well this is how I do things, Dave. Uh, what I use is a solution called Cloudberry and I use their um, S3 Explorer. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and launch my... Amazon S3 Cloudberry and I'm going to show you how to go and connect it to your Amazon account. Just go to file Amazon S3 accounts and a box will put, pop up for you to add a new account and this is where you need to give it um, an account name and you also need to know your secret access key um, and um, so the access key and the secret key from Amazon as well. So I'm just going to blur these out a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and pick this information up from an email where I've got this information saved. And of course, you never want to share this with anyone because this is the keys to your Amazon account. Once you've done that, you can click on Test Connection. Uh, it'll attempt to connect and it'll give you a nice green tick in the box when it's ready. So then we can click OK. So now we've done that, um, we can go and add um, we can go and connect to that account using this little drop down box. So it's going to go and pick up all the buckets that I've got in my Amazon account. Now let's say that I wanted to provide a URL that where somebody could go and download a product. Um, well what you could do is, let's say we went into Nick James Screencasts, um, we go into that particular bucket and it'll take a few minutes to populate but can you see now all the, um, the links have populated, all the files have populated in there. What we can do is if we go and right click, firstly we need to go to the ACL settings and we need to make sure that that's set to public um, for, for everybody. So uh, if you don't have that then you'll, you will see um, an, uh, an, an error, um, an XML error coming up on the download link. So make sure it's set to public. But next time you right click over a file, go to web URL and then you've actually got a download link that will pop up for you to copy and paste into an email or put onto a download page or what have you. So this is the way that I administer my Amazon S3 account. I use the Cloudberry Explorer. looks very, very similar to FTP software pretty much because it is FTP software. Um, but I say it's, uh, it does everything I need for Amazon. So I hope you found this video useful. For more videos like these, head yourself over to the Internet Marketing Training Club. Thanks for watching.